in part one, we set up the basic framework for our inventory system. We made it so that it generated the slots and we have it in a widget blueprint. In part two, we are gonna be adding the ability to pick up items and add it to our inventory. So you can see here that we have a master pickup. If I click play, we have nothing in our inventory. If I go and pick it up, we have three pieces of wood. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is head over to our content drawer, head into inventory, and we're gonna create a new blueprint class. It's gonna be of type actor. The name of this is gonna be BP Master Pickup. Open that up. And this is gonna be our pickup actor. We're gonna need two variables. One variable being the item to add. So we're gonna add a, uh, we're just gonna call it item to add of type master item class. The other one being the amount to add, or the quantity, I don't know, we'll use to add, it doesn't matter. We're gonna expose these and make them both editable on spawn, like so. We can't really do anything with this, so let's add a new static mesh. And this one is gonna be a simple cube. Go down to collision presets and set it to block all, or if you followed the previous tutorial, you can also change out your trace responses, but we are gonna be using the same as the previous one. So I'm gonna use block all. Now we also need a interface to interact with this. So in your inventory, we're gonna create a new blueprint class. No, that's a, that's a lie. We're gonna right click and create a new blueprint of type blueprint interface. We're gonna call this one interact interface. Open that up, and we're gonna name this function in the top right, interact. The input, what well, we wanna carry over, we wanna carry over the FPP ref. That is the most important one, because we can access anything from that. And uh, that is of type first person character. In here you would type in anything you want, any character that you use for this. Out, we're gonna do a success, and that's of type boolean. Compile and save that. Now we need to add it into our master pickup item. So we're gonna go into class settings on our implemented interfaces on the right side. We're gonna add and then type in interact interface like so. So now we are able to actually call that. Uh, let's uh, grab our master pickup item over here and let's give it a test. So once we interact with him, we want to just print for now, we're just gonna print hello. Compile, save, head over into our game, and nothing's happening. And that is, <laughs> this is the most stupid thing I've ever done. We haven't actually implemented the, uh, the button E yet. So let's head over to our first person character, find some empty spot. This is our toggle inventory. So let's just comment that out, toggle M, and find ourselves a empty spot. We're just gonna do it on the side of the inventory here. We're gonna do a keyboard E, and I'm gonna do a line trace by channel. And if you follow the first video, you know how to do this. I'm not gonna just, uh, I'm not gonna focus too much. We're gonna get the world location of our camera. And that's our start, and our end is gonna be world rotation. Board vector, and multiply that by a float and we're going to put in 300 we can add this together like so and that's going to be our end point we are going to do a debug and that should be it now we can uh, out on the out hit we can break that open expand on our hit detector do a dust implement interface and then branch out of that the interface being our interact interface. And after that, we're gonna do a call from the hit actor to interact, like so. FPP ref being ourselves. Now let's try this. There we go. So now, what do we wanna do when we actually interact with this? Um, good question, right? 
we need to head over to our master pickup actor here. First thing we can do is uh, is just promote this to a local variable. Local FPP ref. We could actually do that as a proper variable, but we're going to do local for now. And then we need to figure out how to add the item into our inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function in our inventory. So what we're going to do here, out from our FPP ref, we're going to get HUD, get our HUD, and then we are going to get our inventory. And then we're going to call a, a function that we haven't created yet. So our function is going to be, let's just go to our inventory here. And our function is simply going to be add item for now. We need two inputs on that. First input being item to add of type master item class. Second being the index. No, not the index, sorry, the quantity. I think we called it amount on the other one, so let's do that just to keep it similar. It's not of type quantity, it's of type integer. God damn, my brain is not working today. Right, so if we go back to our master pickup, now we have that, we can call it. So call add item. Like so. The item to add is ourselves, the item that we have uh, set previously, and the amount is also the amount that we set previously, like that. Out from here, we can, uh, we need to, let's just plug that in for now. What we're going to do in this video is we're simply going to add it to the inventory and update. So once we're in here, we're going to promote uh, these things to local variables. So item to add local and then amount to add local. After this, we need to create a new function. Before we head on, we need to find an empty slot. So let's create that and then let's call it find empty slot. We are going to loop through our inventory slots with a for each loop with break. So every time that we go through it, we're going to check if it's free, and if it's free, we're going to break out. So we're going to loop through it, we're going to break the array element, and then we're going to get the item class and check that if it's a valid class. So it's valid class, like so. And then we're going to branch out. Because if it's a valid class, that means that the slot is not empty. So if it's not a valid class, that means that it's empty, right? So if it's false, we are going to break out. And then once we uh, are breaking out, we are basically, we're left with the index, the free index. So we are going to just return on the complete with an output being the free index. And that is the, after, uh, on the return, let's add another one and let's just call that one success. So if we are successful and we found a free item, uh, so that's, let's do this, let's, because I do think that when it completes, it's, it's also always going to complete down here, right? Even if we break out before. So if we do a complete and then we do a array index is, okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out from our slots. We're going to get a copy at the index. Crap, I clicked the wrong thing here. We're going to get a copy at the index just to see, because it, it can break out before it completes, but if it goes to the end and it goes to the complete, then we want to get the copy at the index and double check that if it's a valid class or not. All right, and then branch out from that. So. On complete, we're going to double check to see if it is. If it's a valid class, then we're going to set this to true. Basically, if it's if it's a valid class, true, then it's not a success. So this did not go well. Or if it's false, then we have a success and the index is the success. Like so. And back into our add item. And now drag out our find empty slot. Add from the, add from the success to a branch. So did we find an empty slot? Were we successful? Let's just double check that we added there. Yeah, there we did. Were we successful? If we found an empty slot, awesome. We can just set the array element to that. So let's grab our inventory slots and then set array element. 
the index that we are setting it to is the free index. The item, we are going to split it. The item is the item to add local and the amount to add local. Size that to fit. And then that should be it for that, I believe. We can try to return that with a success. Back into our master pickup. And if we were successful, then it's a success. And uh, we also destroy ourselves. We destroy the actor that we try to pick up. If we're not successful, we're going to return with a false, like so. If we are successful, we add it. We actually need to update the, the slots. So before we destroy this actor, we are going to get our HUD ref, like so. Local FPP ref and our HUD ref. We're going to get inventory. And then we're going to initialize it again like so. If I could play, nothing is actually going to work or happen. Uh, it does destroy it. it. Okay, I'm actually really dumb. We forgot something. Head back into your world. We haven't actually set what we're going to add, so uh, we also haven't made an item. <laughs> we, 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 we skipped a fuck ton of steps here. So let's head back into our inventory and our master item. We're going to create a new folder here. We're going to call this one items. Right click master item, create a new child. We're going to call this one item wood. Because I think I have a wood sprite in my in my drawer here. Hang on. Yeah, so I, so I have a wood sprite here. Uh, I had one on my computer. You can. I'm not going to add anything in the description or anything. You just find whatever sprite you want. In the world, just click the item, the pickup item. Click uh, the wood that we just created. I'm going to just do three for now. Doesn't matter. Um... If I kick it up, nothing happens. If I press 1, you can see that it's printing out what we have in uh, in the debug. So now what we want to do is we want to add a, a way to actually see what is going on in the slots, right? So let's head back into our counter drawer, into our inventory. Right-click anywhere you want. Create a new blueprint of type structure. We're going to call this one item info. What info do we want to show? We want to know the name of the item, which is going to be of type name. The description. Type text. The stackable. Boolean. Why did it not go to Boolean? There we go. If it's the name of it, if it's stackable, the description, the quantity, maybe. Maybe we want to see that here as well. And the icon. Texture 2D. Object reference, like so. In our master item, where are you? Master item. We need to open the full blueprint, add a new variable. We're going to call this one item info. Of type item info. Not expo yeah, exposed and and uh and that should be it for that. If I go into our pickup, we got a wood here. Wood doesn't actually know what it is yet though, so let's head into a content drawer, head into items, open up your item wood. Here we need to specify what it actually is, right? So we're gonna call this one wood. Description is some fine kindling. I don't know. It's gonna be stackable for now. And we got zero of it, and I'm just going to add the wood icon that I added before. Head into your content drawer, into inventory, and the slot. So in the interface, and then inventory slot. Once you're in the inventory slot, you want to go to the graph. We're going to destroy pre-construct and tick, and we're going to go out from our construct here. So we want to check first if we have something in our in our slot, so if it's a valid slot, if it's a valid class. Go branch out from that. And if it's valid, then we want to get our icon. 
and we want to set brush from texture. If it's not valid, we're not going to do anything. But if it is valid, we want to set the brush from texture. The texture we're getting from our item, and then we can get class defaults. And then we can break it open, and this is our info. So our, there we go, the icon. And then we can set the text. Did we have a text? No, we don't have a text here. We're not going to set text here. Uh, we're going to set the quantity, though. Get the quantity text, set text, and the in text is the amount. So I don't think this is the right place to do this. Actually, yeah, we should, we did we didn't need quantity there. We we got quantity here already. So let's just open up our uh, item info and remove quantity from it. And uh, we also need to open up our master item and compile that to get rid of it, like so. If I now go and uh, test this, so I can go in here, I can click play, we got nothing in our inventory, I can go, I can pick it up, and you can see that we have our item. I can go in and out, and it's still there. If I pick it up while I am, while I have it open, you can see that it is loading and everything is good. So yeah, thank you for watching, that's all for now. Next video, we're going to be adding item details, I believe. So stay tuned for that. Hit like if you learned something. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.